We had previously discussed what would happen if a virus or fungus controlled humans, agreeing that it would be a worldwide catastrophe never seen before. Oh, definitely before that, there had to be a source, something that had or had been infected first, and those were animals. Today we'll learn more about a deadly infection that has been unleashed in nature, infecting animals and turning them into truly morbid and dangerous creatures for everyone, giving rise to an unnatural habitat. On this occasion, we'll make three sculptures inspired by the disturbing and amazing imagination of the American illustrator Liam Vincible. That's right, Plasti, but hi everyone, I'm Winnie the Yellow Cat, so let's get a little creepy because we are now talking about a theory that claims the unleashed presence of a virus or zombie fungus that has already evolved. Meanwhile, leave your epic like and subscribe, also comment about your favorite animal, so then these terrible creatures will not infect us. Of course. So let's get started with some fearsome creatures from a natural habitat as we talk about possible theories in this video. Remember that Leon Vincible hasn't revealed much about this mysterious infection, so we can only try to guess. But even with the little information we have, we can get an idea of what it is about. So let's continue because there are documented cases where they confirm that in forests and inhospitable lands of the United States, they there are appearances of quite strange and unnatural creatures. We are precisely talking about a rhino which was one of the first animals to be seen with this type of malformation. Although there are native creatures of Africa, the report was made in the Wokomo National Forest, South Carolina. This place is a refuge for wildlife, as it's home to many species of animals. In fact, this animal is only surpassed in volume by elephants being its main feature, two horns that come out of its nose. These animals are in danger of extinction precisely because of their horns. They are more valuable by weight than gold or diamond, but now being infected, a pair of rhinos have developed terrifying mutations. From inside its mouth, we can see that the infection has begun to spread, dissolving all its tissues and revealing a somewhat disturbing smile and expression. They may be already dead or not yet, but we're pretty sure their diet will now include more than just plants and grass. But if you are wondering how the photograph we saw before was taken, let me tell you that this image is of a couple who made a report in May 2022, as they were enjoying their honeymoon in the Wacom forest, so the couple decided to camp without knowing that they would live the worst experience of their lives. Well, the couple claimed that these creatures were nothing more than pure evil, where we can see how this first some creature is affected mainly in the head area. Some rumors say that the infection begins by damaging the animal's brains, and from here it quickly spreads to other the organs of the body, what a terrible disease! Recording in their minds the horrible signing of these infected creatures, fortunately they were able to record these rhinos on camera. Remember that we must be careful because unnatural habitat is just beginning.
The testimony of these creepy owls was recorded in the middle of the year 2022 due to the testimony of a family where each of the four members explained that they had decided to go camping just for fun. However, while the father was taking a canoe trip on the river, he noticed the presence of these birds, and as he turned to swing in that direction, he managed to face these creatures, which caused him a terrible impression on him, the father immediately called his wife and nailed the son, who advised him to leave the area immediately and not return. It is important to mention that owls are nocturnal creatures and hunt during the night. They have a highly developed sense of hearing, being able to detect the presence of their prey several meters away, and once they have detected it, owls spray their large wings in a spectacular way, while preparing preparing its claws to capture their dinner. But also the family affirmed that these creatures signed by them had something strange because they were probably infected by the same virus as the previous case. So now being sick, we can know for sure if these creatures continue with their nocturnal routine or if we'll be able to see them in broad daylight. These birds always chase their victims and then feed on them. And as happened in the previous case, the family after reporting this signing simply disappeared without a trace. Sometime later, only a photo that floated in the river could be rescued, showing the appearance of those birds. Due to the infection, these creepy monsters have become horribly deformed as their faces appear to be completely gone. And although birds have no teeth, we can observe in these infected specimens two rows of sharp teeth that form a grim smile on his face. And finally, I have to tell you that this kind of beak looks a lot like a human mouth, so you definitely don't want to run into these creatures. We can and also see that these ramifications appear to be horns, but if we take a closer look, it is precisely these details that make us doubt whether the infection of a natural habitat is caused by a virus or fungus. These ramifications could be due to a growing fungus as we have seen in some television series. So now we can only imagine the faces of these creatures completely gone from the infection, as we mentioned earlier this virus lodges inside the brain of its victims, causing malformations and from here the infection begins to spread to other vital organs. So the head area is the first section of these animals to mutate. <laughs> the sculpture of our next infected creature being nothing more and nothing less than a giraffe, while we talk about the most popular theory in lore. Rumors say that a fungus has caused this disaster because both owls and giraffes have ramifications throughout their bodies. That's right, being more related to a fungus than a virus, as it could be the organ that releases its spores. Furthermore, the fungus that's probably responsible for the events occurring in a natural habitat is called Ophiocordyceps, being also known as the zombie ants fungus. But remember, this is only a theory. We refer to a parasite that affects these insects by manipulating.
manipulate them at will and then devouring their bodies from the inside out, ultimately it takes the ant to the highest point of a tree so that it finally dies, but not before releasing spores and spreading the deadly fungus around the whole place. Let's not stop as this habitat continues to expand. In the fall of 2022, as a hiker was preparing to climb the mountainous area of Sassafras, he was able to see what appeared to be giraffes in the distance. They immediately caught the man's attention for their colorful appearance, and he really didn't find them strange or dangerous because he thought he was still looking at a zoo area. But when the man took a closer look at these animals with his professional camera, he found himself trying to understand what they really were. And there is something else the fungus becomes more and more aggressive since one of these giraffes has completely detached its head, giving rise to these strange ramifications. Meanwhile, in the other creature, it doesn't seem to have these ramifications, but several limbs arose from its body that morphologically do not resemble those of a giraffe, but rather those of a human body. We can also see an expression of pain on its face with some madness, so we can conclude that this fungus causes great body pain in infected victims. Well, these haven't been the only giraffes affected. There are more photographs where we see other virants like this one, where the giraffe's body has been split in half from where what appears to be a huge rock emerge. I know it sounds scary, but this is what this fungus is capable of. Even in this other image, that division is just beginning to be created where we can see that the giraffe's mouth is growing. Well, this disease could be an experiment. Don't forget that the human being has always been in a constant search for immortality, aware of requiring vital organs to transplant in sick individuals to later extend the life of the patient who receives them. Also, at any time, one of these experiments can fail catastrophically, causing these macabre creatures to roam the forest without any problem. The most terrible thing about this is that infected creatures are capable of spreading the fungus or virus to the other animals in this place, causing other animals to spread infection immediately, being more and more land, flying, and even aquatic creatures affected. We can only wait for the natural habitat to stop on its own, otherwise we are doomed to suffer the consequences until our total extinction. <laughs>